So for example, consider two vectors. P is the vector 1, 2, 3 and R3 and Q is the vector 4, 5, 6. Then the inner product of P with Q the top product of P with Q is 1 times 4 plus 2 times 5 plus 3 times 6 which makes 32. The length of P squared is the norm of P squared equals the inner product of P with itself. So this equals in the product of 1, 2, 3 with 1, 2, 3, which equals 1 plus 4 plus 9 equals 14. So the length of P is the square root of 14. Well, in just the same, same way, we calculate the length of Q. Q is the square root of the dot product of Q with itself, so it's the square root of 4, 5, 6, the inner product with 4, 5, 6. Which equals the square root of 16 is 4 times 4 plus 5 times 5 plus 6 times 6 which equals the square root of 77. So here's just an example how you calculate things. Well there's some properties of norms. Well the first one is that we can only have vectors of a length 0 if and only if u is a zero vector. Well, this is almost automatic because there's only one vector that has inner product with itself e being equal to zero. Secondly, if we multiply a vector u with a scalar c, then the length of this vector is no more than the absolute value of c times the length of this vector. Well, this can be seen as follows. We just calculate the square, the length of cu squared, which is the inner product of cu times cu. And now we use the property that we can take these scalars outside, so we get 1 times c, we can get it outside, and then we turn around these two vectors, u and cu, it's still equal. Then we get Cu, and again we may apply the same law of calculations. So we can take out one term, C again. So we get C squared times the inner product of U with itself. So it's C squared times the length of U squared. So if we take the, the square root on the left hand side and the right hand side we get that the length of c times u is the square root of c squared times the length of u squared and we know that the square root of a constant squared is no more than the absolute value of this constant c times the length of u 